Okay guys, so this is a serious issue. Um, I don't know, I, you must have heard already if you are a Linkin Park fan. Chester Bennington yesterday died. He hung himself. Um, I feel really deeply for this because I know for, I've been a Linkin Park fan for pretty much all my life. Um, I heard them at first when Numb came out, when their video came out. Great fucking video, great song. Um, and it just, it breaks my heart because, um, they actually helped me get through a lot of stuff. Um, I know when I first moved to Nebraska, I was a weird little skinny kid with a back brace and a New York accent who said, y'all and still talked like I was down south. Um, I was picked on a lot, bullied. I started cutting, and then I decided, well, my parents don't love me. They never said they were proud of me, so I just got it in my head that suicide sounded pretty good. Um, well, <coughs> one of the days that I picked, um, I was on my way home from school and listening to the radio and their song Numb came on the radio and it just it hit me hard I started crying because I found out well shit there's a lyricist out there who put my thoughts and my feelings into words and like they it just they seemed like they were relating to me or I could relate to the music however you want to put it but, um, suicide is never the answer. I will be posting the, su the National Suicide Hotline number in the description because of this. Um, because, you know, what you might think is a way out can devastate people. Like, your family. It would kill your family. It's a, it's a uh, permanent solution to a temporary problem. And I know it's cliche to say that but it's true um and you know it just it hurts me because I know I was going through a lot and their words and their music helped me through that tough time I was having and for an idol that big for me to have committed suicide like I I feel bad not not for Chester, like, I feel bad for him because he was dealing with depression and, like, the fame about it and everything, but I feel mostly for his family, his six kids and his wife, because he, he was depressed enough to think, well, this is my only way out. It's not the only way out. If you feel like this, reach out to someone. If it's not, if you can't, you know, if you feel like you can't talk to your parents or you can't talk to your friends or you can't go and see somebody call and you think it's the only possible plausible way I'm begging you fuck call the number they they will help they're trained to help and there's no judgment none whatsoever I was a cutter for years I have scars on my wrist and my leg to prove it and it's it's not it's always going to be in the back of your mind but unless you reach out and get help then you're going to think that that's the only way it's not and I know a lot of you think that it is but you're in the long run it's not helping anybody but it, it's not and, you know, if you, if you are one of those people who has thought about it and tried attempting it, then, you know, good on you for not succeeding in it. Because the world is a better place with you in it. I know it might not seem like that, but it is. And, you know, to... It's sad to see anybody go. And I'm not just talking about Chester. I'm talking about, you know, veterans who, you know, they're, they have PTSD, they're depressed when they come back from war, and, you know, I appreciate what you've done for our country, 
but suicide isn't right. It's not the answer. Like I said, it's a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So if you feel like this, or if you know someone who feels like this, reach out, talk to someone, because chances are your family does love you. They, they care for you. They don't want to see you go, especially your parents. I can't, I can't imagine having a kid and then getting a call one day saying and finding out that they've committed suicide or they've hung themselves because they thought it was the only way. It's not. So, you know, that's, that would be my worst fear as a parent. And my heart goes out to his family, to his bandmates, because the world lost a great person, a wonderful lyricist, probably a wonderful father. Like, I don't know him personally, but I can, I can say they, the world has lost someone great, someone fantastic. And it just kills me that um, people think it's the only way out because you know there there is a light at the end of the tunnel and it's a cliche I know again but there is like I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for um, if it wasn't for my past if it wasn't for you know me living through what I've been through because I know for a fact if I would have if I would have left I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be where I'm at I wouldn't own a, I wouldn't own a home I wouldn't have animals you know shit like that so just talk to someone like I said I will post the su the national suicide number in the comments and I will even go three steps further and I will find out the number for the UK, Canada, pretty much anywhere. I'm sure there's a list out there of suicide prevention hotlines. Talk to someone. And for everybody joking about it and, you know, making fun of him, fuck you. Fuck you. You've never lost anybody close to you, obviously, if you're that callous to joke about somebody killing themselves and leaving behind a family. Those kids are going to grow up without a dad. I mean, you've got to be inhumane if you think that that's funny. Like, he's never going to be able to dance at any of his daughter's weddings. He's never going to be able to, you know, see his kids graduate. Um, his wife is going to be forever burdened because I know for a fact she's probably thinking that she did something wrong and it's it's not right so if you're joking about it if you think it's funny just stop because it's not and fuck you for even thinking about it but um, that's all I have. Uh, this has been your friendly neighborhood Fox saying peace, love, and chicken grease um, take music to heart, you never know what it can do for your life. It saved mine, it could possibly save yours. I don't know. So just think about what I've said and share this video if you think it's worthy. Alright, but bye guys. Peace, love, and chicken feet.